Hey, Malik, since the, the Florida State game, I think a lot of fans have been looking towards this game as the, the, how much have they improved as a team. Right. I mean, uh, how much do you think you guys have improved from that, that first game? Um, after, uh, you know, last game, we got pretty back on track, you know, with the, with the cues, with the receivers, you know, uh, less drops than we had in Florida State, uh, getting our route depth, being on time with the quarterback. So this game, we're going into SEC play. So we just, after today's practice, we just focus on getting better every day. What does Mississippi State do defensively that's unique or the challenge is after playing them a year ago? Um, more, more off covers that me and Jaden have saw outside of corners. Um, a lot of, a lot of um, three down, moving, uh, moving the jack out, getting on, getting on page with him about you know, how to run different routes on the jack. So it's a, it's a lot of just drop coverage that they do a lot. It's going to be a lot of open holes that we can hit. You were on the team in 21, right? Yeah. So you went over there and experienced right, the cowbells and all that stuff. What's that like? Um, I said going into my freshman year, um, after hearing about it, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. It was, it was my first game that I actually started, so flowers in my stomach, you know. I was jittery about just being out on the field. Um, but it was pretty loud, so. But now that I'm, you know, experienced about loud crowds, I feel I can just focus in on getting my job done. Malik, how do you feel how, that Jaden has grown since week one with his throwing abilities? Um, just after working out, you know, with him in practice, you know, it takes time to get on point. Like during the game, um, you know, we worked on it in in, the, uh, in summer. But you know, when you're out there against like a defense, like you know that we play, um, it's focused on you know getting a timing well, um, coming up in the morning, just getting on the same page. So after today's practice, everything was on point. So I'm glad to see that he's working on progress and getting that together. I'm interested in kind of how you've seen the defensive backs. You go up against them every day in practice. How have you seen them kind of get better from week one to now this point when SEC season is about to start? Um, I would say getting, giving us both the different looks. You know, um, during practice, I might tell, you know, Zai, um, Mississippi State, play this coverage. I want you to do this to me so I can, you know, get a better look. Or just on scout team, you know, doing the same thing. You know, we got a lot of great uh, cornerbacks at scout team. So just getting different looks that I might get in the game is, is helping me. Just to follow up, how does Zai kind of respond to that? I mean, he's new to this team and you've been here for a while, so how does he kind of take those words from you? I would say, you know, um, he goes against, you know, the best receivers, I would say, in the country. You know, me, Brian, Kyron. So he goes against, you know, three different receivers. You know, we're all different. So if he can pick up a lot of different things from each of us that I might tell him, look, stay square on, you know, on the release, you know, to help him get better on the line of scrimmage and help him, you know, get hands on a defender. So just seeing that, because you know, they do it to me a lot that I have saw for my first two games. And just telling him to do the same thing that a cornerback do, you know, we getting better every day. What about some of the ways they're getting you the ball, like this past game, that little push kind of pass when you were in motion and everything? Are you coming up with some new things to get you involved? Yeah, that was a, I would say that one, I wasn't expecting that. You know, I had just got the ball the first time, and I uh, and I didn't take it all the way outside. When I watched it on film, I should have kept going outside. But you know, with Mike D trusting me, you know, he uh, he wanted to see if I could get it again and see it the next time, and I did and scored a touchdown. So with them just you know moving me around, different in the slide, going to outside, you know, it's giving a different look. I might get you know some other players the ball. How is it to see Chris Hilton healthy and be able to stretch the field like that? Yeah, it's fun watching him run. Every time he runs, it's like, bro, it's like it's crazy speed. You know, we go in after practice, come back, and we see like his catapult speed, and it'd be 23 miles per hour. You know, he'd be rolling. So just seeing him back coming off the injury that he had um, the last two years, you know, never got to play a lot. So seeing him back in and getting his touchdowns, you know, getting the ball to his hands, it's been really nice to see. And the running backs that got featured last week, they weren't really the guys featured the first game. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is it kind of like the wide receivers? It could be anyone's day, or how do you think they're going to approach that? Um, you know, I, I believe that it was Logan. You know, Logan Tom, you know, after the first game, he had, had a, um, I think, a hamstring problem that he was coming back from. So they uh, focused on Josh Williams and um, Noah Kane. But, you know, after him being, getting rehab, you know, they wanted to see him get back and rolling. So it was his night to shine. And also the, the, young, the young pup, him getting in, you know, getting his first game, getting his touchdowns, it was fun to see. Just 
just to follow up on the young pup, uh, a true freshman coming in there. I mean, what kind of power and physicality does he bring? Uh, after watching the film, bro, he runs just exactly like Leonard, uh, him and Armani, bro. After seeing them in practice, like if it's somebody in front of them, they just they running clean there. They're not juking. They're not doing nothing. They just powerhouse. Yeah. So it's, it's great seeing those two, especially Armani, him coming back. I think this was his first practice back after him being on the injury and seeing him practice full speed is, is fun to see. So many different players scored touchdowns and made big plays last weekend against Grambling. Do you think that really put this offense on the map and kind of showed people that this is what we can do? Yeah, just um, getting the love for the game, you know, getting different guys in. Um, seeing those guys, you know, have the ball in their hands, getting them back in motion, you know, having Shelton going out there, you know, from him coming to high school to college, you know, getting him to rock. Um, also with uh, Deuce, uh, him coming back, you know, from Bama, him giving the ball in the space and letting see, you know, what he works on. You know, it was just everybody time to eat, and I was happy to see that everybody got their time to shine. Thanks, Malik.